It's the deet smell that make the difference between mean and truly evil. Hey everyone, it's Amanda and I am back with another vlog. As you may be able to tell, I am in a different setting and that is because I am back home. I am back in my hometown of Tucson, Arizona, which means we have a little guest star. This is my kitty. This is Nermal the ragdoll cat and she would like to say hi to you. I came home because I am still on winter break and I wanted to come home to see the Kristen Chenoweth concert tonight. I am very excited to go to the concert tonight. It is at Tucson Music Hall and I've been a fan of Kristen Chenoweth for a long time. Of course, Descendants, but beyond just that, I'm a big fan of Wicked. I've seen Wicked five times and yeah, I'm just a big fan of her work and I've always wanted to see her perform and tonight I get to do that. So for outfit of the day, we have a Descendants shirt, of course to represent Maleficent. So tonight I am going with my mom and a family friend of ours. Uh, we're gonna go out to dinner and then we are going to go to the concert. I'm not sure if I can film at the show. If I can, I will include that. And if not, then un that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, but I will check back in with you guys in a second and you can follow along on my journey. And, and whether or not I can film, I'll come back in after the show and check in and let you guys know what it was like. So let's go. All right, we're on our way. This is my mom and her debut appearance. Hi, mom. <laughs> this is our friend Jill, who you can't see that well. Yeah. <laughs> we're on our way. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yes. What are you most excited for? For for Kristen Chenoweth to sing songs from Wicked. Yes. We just got out. Say hi. Hi. And we met Kristen Chenoweth. Good we job. didn't get to take we pictures because they said no pictures, but she signed my Descendants DVD, and we'll we'll talk more when we get home. So she was adorable. What did what did you guys think? It was we're... unbelievable. I've unbelievable. never heard a voice as beautiful and pure as that. And what were some of your favorite parts? Uh, my the first song that she came out to was uh -huh. good, which I can't now remember. Kesaras. Kesaras oh, yeah, was awesome. Yep. yep. Um, and popular because she let us videotape. Yes, she did. <laughs> that was so a that good was fun. One. But I was a little sad she didn't sing. Yeah. The duet. But I but guess it's because she probably didn't have someone right. to sing it well, with for four good. good. Yeah, but, yeah. But True. You're right. True. We thought she was wonderful. Yes. Well, now we're going to find our car. Yeah. It's out. It's around here somewhere. A little bit further down, I think. All right, I am back, and now I can tell you a little bit more about the show. It was a really, really great show. She has an amazing voice, as I'm sure anyone who knows her knows, but to get to hear her live was just incredible. The notes she can hit is just phenomenal. 
And beyond just how amazing of a singer she was, just the message that came with her show was really incredible. Just how music is so important to instill happiness and inspiration in people and how that is so important to her. For her last couple of songs, she even brought up some students from the University of Arizona who were musicians or singers to help sing them with her. And she was talking about how they're our future and she wants to help give back to them and help them get their career started. And that was really, really neat. Her very last song she actually did without a microphone. And I was sitting in like the fourth row and to get to hear her like that was really amazing. She said she wanted to do it like that because she loved the venue and she thought that the acoustics would really work with that and they really did. She did a lot of covers, a lot of classic standards, a lot of classic Broadway songs and such. She talked about some of her biggest inspirations and did songs by them. She talked about Judy Garland. She did Somewhere Over the Rainbow after she did Popular and she talked about how Oz has just always been a big part of her life because of Judy Garland with Wizard of Oz and then Wicked and so on. Then she talked about Julie Andrews who was also a big inspiration of her and she talked about the first time she got to meet her and then she sang I Could Have Danced All Night in her honor. Act two opened with Popular and that was awesome. <laughs> and she was just super funny, just interacting with the orchestra and just telling jokes and stories in between songs. It was just, it was very conversational. It wasn't just a performance. She was really talking to the audience, again, telling stories about herself, even really personal stories, even not as happy or funny stories. It was just really neat how personal it was. She talked about her first experiences on Broadway and she talked about her parents, just a lot about her career and her life. And then of course there was the stage door. Uh, when we found it, there was, you know, a dozen or so people out there uh, waiting for her. So we're like, all right, we're in the right place. And when she did come out, uh, they said that we couldn't take pictures, um, so but we could get stuff signed. So that's what I did. And I got my Descendants DVD signed right there. Pretty awesome. Uh, and she was so excited when she saw I had the Descendants DVD. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she was like, oh my gosh, or something just really excited. And I said, I'm a huge fan of Descendants. And she said, so am I. And she said, how about that Dub Cameron? And I'm like, yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> so I was just so happy that she was so excited about it. And just like, I met Kristen Chenoweth. Like, that's really awesome. That's something that I didn't think would ever happen. But I was hopeful tonight that she might come out at the stage door. I was really lucky I got to meet her and I'm so happy I got to briefly talk with her about Descendants and that was, and that she brought up Dove. Like that was so awesome. My mom and our friend and I had a really good time. We went to dinner beforehand, like I said and uh, we had to rush to the show because we thought it was at eight and then we realized it was at 7.30. <laughs> but we had a nice little dinner, uh, headed to the show and then took our friend back and then my mom took me home. It was a really great night. I'm really glad I got to make it home for this show and that I met Kristen Chenoweth. I'm just gonna keep saying it cause like, oh my gosh, can you believe it? Uh, and yeah, it was super fun. So I will see you guys next time around. Thanks for, thanks for watching.